Hey, Mike. Yeah. How, are, you, are you still using the uh, heart rate um, below 60 to figure out where to start? Yeah. You know, and, and I'll be honest, I don't use it as much because most of the guys that I get are pretty fit. But especially if I had younger kids or less developed athletes, I'd be a lot more, a lot more focused on that. Like, and that's one thing legitimately – so you know Ruth because you you have some big boys like some of those guys I think benefit from just some basic extensive work right yeah whether it's whether it's circuits whether it's pushing the pace in the weight room a little bit whatever the case may be I think a little bit of extensive work does a lot for those guys because one of the biggest issues I see is their power's off the charts but they got no capacity right like they can't just they can't repeat it because yeah. I mean like one or two efforts and they're smashed so you need some extensive work up front and then you need to be patient. Like that's one thing with, uh, with Jalen right now, like we started with him. So David, a little context here. He's a defensive tackle, like 280, 285. He's a big dude and pretty fit. But I mean, we started the prowler at five on 90 off and around a six. I mean, he was pretty tired, you know? And so now we're like two or three weeks into a little bit more advanced block. We've been training together like six weeks now. And so now we're at like six on, 60 off, six on, 54 off. And he, he's starting to be able to repeat that explosiveness over seven, eight, nine reps. But I think some of those big guys, they need, you got to be patient with them and you, they need some of that extensive work. So with him, we do like some, some just pure cardiac output. Um, I had him doing some HICT step ups. Um, just stuff to, to build some general work capacity, I think is really valuable just to get those guys a little bit fitter. And, you know, quite frankly, they feel so much better. I mean, I think Ruth, you've seen this with your guys, if they're heavy and they're out of shape, like they kind of know they're miserable, but they don't really know until you've trained them for four to six weeks. And they're like, like, wow, I just feel a lot better. You know, they sleep better. Their body feels better. They recover faster. I didn't, I didn't know because I hadn't seen you do it, I guess, for a while. But I didn't know, uh, you know, like like when the big basketball player came in at one time, he was like 88 right after the season. Oh, yeah. Resting heart yeah. rate. Yeah. And, and so he was a perfect example, right? Like he needed extensive work. That's why we literally did six sessions a week. Right. And, you know, two of them – well – I mean, two of them, we finished his weightlifting sessions with HICT. And then the other two were just pure, like, cardiac output sessions just to drive his resting heart rate down. Because, I mean, he was a big dude, but, I mean, he's kind of fat. He's kind of out of shape. I mean, uh, do you remember, Roof, how, what he told me he'd ate for the last three weeks? Oh, yeah. yeah. Creme brulee waffles yeah. every morning for <laughs> breakfast. So, uh, that'll put some weight on you pretty quick. That was great. Um, yeah, I just, I didn't know, you know, like with the kids I work with, you know, it's just a matter of getting them just to move around the little kids. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, I, um, the one guy that was talking about the middle school kids, yeah, just getting them to, to move. And know. that's where too, like, I think sometimes we get like too caught up in like overthinking things, yeah. like just get them moving more get them, I, I hate the word training for kids, but you know what I mean? Like get them in the gym, get them moving, get them training, work at a reasonable pace. It's amazing how much stuff just kind of shakes out when you just kind of get them started in the, the training process. 